Hi, I'm Kit, I'm a first year, and I've asked a couple of my friends to tell you a little bit about the department. This, am I here? Is this real? Is it rolling? Yes. Okay. ASNAC is an interdisciplinary degree um, which focuses on the history, languages and literature of the early Middle Ages. In your first year you study six subjects and the ones I chose were Old English, Medieval Welsh, Early English History, Britonic History, Latin and Paleography. You might be writing an, an essay on a, a literary text, um, but actually what becomes very relevant to that essay is the, the historical context in which it was written. I'm able to access a much wider uh, area of knowledge, field of knowledge, than uh, if I was in a narrower field. And it's really just the beauty of the subject and the department. In your first year, you'll spend most of your time preparing for language classes or working on your supervision essays. So every week, you'll have an hour-long chat with either a lecturer or a PhD student who's specialising in that particular subject. Everything is taught from scratch and you're not assumed to have any knowledge be before you begin. So I first found out about ASNAC at a UCAS convention. Alphabetically, it's top of the list of co uh, courses you can study at Cambridge, so it, I noticed it then. And I found out more about it when I attended an Oxbridge convention and went to a talk about it. For a long time it seemed like such a distant future, I didn't do much thinking about it. I started doing proper research after my trip to Oxford in secondary school, so I was 15 back then. It made me realise that maybe studying in the UK was an actual possibility for me. I definitely wanted to study um, languages and history, um, and ASNAC is the only place where you can study um, the, the history, the languages and the literature of the early Middle Ages um, beside one another. Uh, I was watching a documentary about Athelflaed, who is the daughter of Alfred the Great, or who was the daughter of Alfred the Great, and I was so inspired by her story and that really sparked my interest in this period. And then I saw Arsenic, at the very top of the list of, of courses offered by Cambridge, and quite frankly, that was enough for me. People should study Arsenic because you get to learn so much about um, a period in history which I feel it isn't really seen as as cool or necessary to know, but in fact there is just such a rich um, world to be discovered. You get to know lots of people who have very different interests to you, even within the small sphere of ASNAC. As soon as I read all the descriptions, I look at the different reading lists, uh, the paper descriptions, and as soon as I heard professors and students describe what they do, it's quite sold, to be honest. It's fantastic at Cambridge because we've got so many medieval manuscripts, especially in the Parker Library. If you study paleography, you'll get to go on field trips there and see the manuscripts yourself. I'm able to do the Anglo-Saxon history alongside the Old English language, um, which is relevant to it, um, as well as so paleography and codicology, which is the study of, of books and manuscripts and handwriting. And so for, for the literature and the language, it makes it easier to look at the, the texts in their original setting. I've got my own little set of subjects, which has some overlap with other people, but then there's stuff that I'm not studying, but I still find interesting. And ASMAC is really unique in that I'm able to access that information just through talking to my peers, talking to uh, students in higher years, or even talking to PhD students, master students. Um, I also found that the most important thing was just, just to try and enjoy it. I didn't have much contact with, with any of the material. Of course, the course is quite niche, even in the UK itself, not to mention <laughs> Europe. In your personal statement, it's hard to include lots of ASNAC things because obviously it's such a unique course, you're not applying for it anywhere else. 
So the SAQ really helped me because it meant I could put in things that weren't going to fit otherwise in my personal statement, but I still wanted to talk about. And it really took the stress off trying to fit things into my personal statement for all the subjects I was applying for at different universities. This is something that is quite scary, but I found that there was so much information on the ASNAC website and also um, having gone to open days, um, it was explained in a very straightforward and easy way to understand so that when it came to it, I knew what was expected of me. My departmental interview, um, I, I was very scared going into the interview because obviously you hear kind of how intimidating um, some of the interviews could be. But actually, I just came out um, absolutely beaming. It's important to remember that the interviews are about the skills transfer from A-levels to an interview setting. And you don't actually have to, it's not a test of your knowledge. My favorite thing about the degree is that we are just taught by world experts, which is just truly amazing. Uh, the thing that I love best about studying ASNAC is the intellectual community we have in the department. For me, the best thing about studying ASNAC is that we get to study everything, not only language and literature, but also history, and even manuscripts and handwriting. Um, what I like about the department as well is because it's such a small department, and we have the ASNAC Society and the Shared Common Room, it means that you get to know most of the people in the other years as well. And so there are lots of friendly faces around the department. You should definitely read things that you find interesting in the ASNAC world. There's never a dull moment in the ASNAC department. It's, it's great. I simply cannot imagine why it would be if I hadn't discovered ASNAC back then in 2015. If this has been helpful, feel free to check the society and departmental websites, both of which contain more information for prospective applicants. Uh, otherwise, feel free to follow the society YouTube channel or the society Twitter, um, and throughout the summer we'll be uploading more videos, biographies and general information from students across the department to hopefully give you a slightly better picture of what department life is like.